New tonight at 6. Well, first it was postponed. Well, now it is canceled for good. Well, fall sports will not happen in the Clark County School District because of the pandemic. But frustrated parents and students, well, they are vowing not to give up. Isn't that right, Tricia? That's right, Todd. And 13 Action News anchor Jackie Kostick is live outside of CCSD headquarters. And Jackie, parents are pressing the district for answers here. Trisha and Todd, many of those families plan to come out to CCSD headquarters this Thursday to protest CCSD's decision to cancel the fall sports season. Now, a lot of these families say they understand the impact that COVID-19 has had on our community, but they're concerned about students' mental health, and they believe that sports can help. Students across the Las Vegas Valley want to play. To play my senior season would really just become a dream come true. And coaches want to coach. I think there was a way for us to get it done, but, you know, governor made the call, school district made the call, so we got to live with it. But the families of CCSD student athletes are not resigned to live with it just yet. The Facebook group Let Them Play NV has added hundreds of members each day since CCSD announced the cancellation of fall sports on Friday. They can reverse this decision if they want to. Nicole Goganauer and her husband are behind the group, advocating for other families to push for answers from the school district, sending emails, letters, and making calls. They plan on showing up in person to CCSD offices on Thursday. CCSD Superintendent Jesus Jara addressed the dilemma on a recent panel, saying that bringing back sports before students are back in classrooms sends the wrong message. What are we measuring as, 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 as important when, I'm at my, when my reading scores are where they are, where my math scores are where they are? Are we saying that athletics is more important than academics? No. But that's the message that will be sent out. Superintendent Jara says he understands the impact this has on students, that sports and the arts are the number one way to prevent dropouts. I want my kids to be back in school. So let me help help me get my kids in school. And then I'll open up all the all the all the all the different aspects that we have in athletics and after school activities. It's this all or nothing approach that is frustrating to parents like Candace Tongue, who's also a frontline physician. And obviously, as parents, we we want them to be in person to some extent with hybrid, but that just seems like it's a little slow going. And I think for the high schoolers who um, they've talked about being so worried about their mental health, this would be the perfect way to segue into giving them something back. CCSD is dealing with a mental health crisis, with 19 students taking their own lives since remote learning began. Tung says almost a year into this pandemic, the school district has had time to make adjustments and put return to play guidelines in place to keep everyone safe. Many families say allowing for sports to return in some capacity would give their kids something they haven't had much of for the past year, hope. I don't want anybody lost in the fray in this, and this this breaks my heart for all, all these kids out here. I'm sorry, but they're just, they're our future. Jackie Kostek, 13 Action News.